Hello, this is Steve Kramer, UNCG Business Librarian with a four-minute introduction to the Demographics Now database. This is a great database for making, with very little effort, detailed tables or profiles of places. You can look up one place at a time or compare places. It also has a mapping tool like Simply Map does, but Simply Map's a little easier to use with maps and has some more power, so I really prefer using Demographics Now for tables and profiles. I normally use the demographics module. And before I forget, let me point out two quick things. There is one, a help section up here, including some detailed how-to videos. And two, you can download any data on screen in any one of three different file formats. To use this database, you need to make three choices. You need to pick your geography, your report type, and then the data you want to see. I'll begin with geography. You can search by zip code number or name of a place, such as Greensboro and pick the right city from the list. Or also go into the menu where you can do a radius search like one, three, five miles or any other, num any other types of radius. Or also you can choose manually any combination of any of these location types up to 16 at once if you want to. And for example, zip codes, let's find Flagstaff zip codes. Arizona, Coquino County, and we've got one, two, three, four zip codes I'm gonna pick. There are three types of reports, comparison, compares places. If you have more than one, you also can display one place only under comparison. It still works. Summary will combine any multiple selections into one total number. So we have those four zip codes combined. And rank, of course, ranks these four places. And there's a different set of data you can choose for rank than the other two report types. And finally, there's the data. And I've switched just to looking at Charlotte to illustrate this. There is historical uh, current and future forecasted numbers for demographic data. Also options to see data more visually with charts and graphs, such as with the executive summary with charts option. There's other options for demographics too, including a really cool income by age summary, which is often useful for students but hard to find otherwise. There's a whole cluster of spending data in here. That's the CX category. CX stands for Consumer Expenditure Survey. So for example, women's dresses, how much money is spent by household in Charlotte on them? The answer, 45 bucks. 45 times this number gives you the market size for women's dresses in Charlotte, which is often useful for business plan writing, that kind of, that kind of summary market size information. There's also Simmons survey data, such as Simmons Entertainment Leisure Dining Summary. So for example, let's say you're researching movie going patterns in Charlotte. How many people in Charlotte, how many households, I should say, like to watch horror movies? Well, 9%. And again, we can multiply that percentage by total number of households to see how many households engage in this and watching horror movies. And finally, there's a really cool tool called Mosaic, which is clusters defined by lifestyles and socioeconomic status and like where you like to live, etc. And we can see just really quickly in Charlotte, there's a big singles and starters group population and also suburban styles. Some other mosaic clusters here, mosaic tools, give us the actual breakdowns of those groups. So here is the singles and starters and the different subgroupings. And one of the big ones is striving single scenes. And if you go under help to Mosaic USA details, there's both a general guide here about what this, how this works. And also the individual guides are down below. And for example, here is the report about striving single scenes explaining who they are, how they work, their lifestyles, what they like to do with their free time, what media they consume, whether online or TV. And so if you are targeting this population for some entrepreneurship idea, then now you can measure that group in any place in the country and see where they really stand out. So a wide variety of data you can use here in this wonderful database.